let's talk more about travel. All right, so we have, Woo! Woo! We have 2020 travel and we have the choo-choo train. So to, to get people thinking, to get students thinking about travel, and, and I know a lot of us, when we're talking about travel today, I mean, of course, we think of cars, sometimes air, sometimes um, rail lines if you're going into Manhattan, but if we think of the most common mode of transportation today, go ahead. The car. Okay, another one. Um, bicycle. Plane. Uh. <laughs> so if you're looking at planes, right, if, if, we, if, we, if we, that's where we would lead you to if you were sitting in front of us. I mean, if you're looking at what planes do to try and get more passengers um, to beat out, because there's a lot of different airlines companies. We have, what, Southwest. We definitely know that's airline, as Long Island people. You got Delta. American. American. Pan Am. Qantas. Oh, that's a long time ago. Pan Am? <laughs> oh, yeah, they're done. Okay. Aer Lingus. So when you're looking at what these airline companies do to kind of get you to fly with them, you know, there might be snacks, more leg room, free, free Wi Fi, or like, who yep. is it? The, uh, I think JetBlue was the first one who actually put like an individual TV right. in every seat. Oh, really? You know, that, they were the first one to do I've that. I've never really flown JetBlue. Yeah. Rewards programs, so for like credit cards, mm -hmm. you know, if you, every time you spend, you know, that, that can kind of, you can kind of accumulate points and get a free flight. That's First always class. Nice. First class is another one as well. So with all that in mind, with what you have going on up in the air, right, you can do that with uh, trains. So we're going to look at how we improve rail travel. So one of the things, we'll go to this because we were talking about it before because you said that uh, you actually went to a Pullman car. You are yeah, the museum. the museum in Scranton, Pennsylvania. So the, um, these are your photos then? No, no, all these right. are still off the internet, but all right. I mean, there we'll, are. We'll go slow then. Yeah. Okay. So basically, Pullman turned the railroad car industry yeah. into a billion dollar empire in today's moment. Right. He was one, by the time he died, he was one of the five richest men in America. Um, we'll learn more about Pullman and the strikes, the, 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 oh, way, yeah. the way he treated his employees. Um, but basically, you know, as, as, ridership of the railroads goes up, the thought was, let's make this a more enjoyable experience for them. Not just the average passenger, this was like your average sleeper car, had a couple of like, um, what, what, bunk beds we're, we're, we're like, we're like bus seats yeah. to sit in. There was a little a little washroom over here, Not really comfortable. bathroom over here, oh, and the kids were like, well, where to go? I'm like, onto the tracks, like yeah. literally just out onto the tracks. Um, some bunk beds to sleep in, and this was your typical uh, Pullman sleeper car where who's wow. gonna be in this car? This is gonna be first class. Yeah, this was, man. you know, and literally the same way that like um, Bill Gates or Jeff Bezos yeah. might have a private jet, people had private, private cars. cars. That is true, yes. yes. Yeah. You know, it's like, oh, I wanna go from New York to, to Orlando today. Right. And like you, your little choo-choo would come and get your car out of the car train parking lot and attach it onto a train and then, so this might be something that Vanderbilt That's gotta be a really yeah, cool Rockefeller that would try to be a cool Exactly. One. I mean, and even go back, I mean, just look. Blair, can you just point to the oh, kitchen? Of course we have Blair? announcements. All right, so, <laughs> so when you even get into the interior of the train car itself, I mean, if you just look at the artwork and everything, details, detail, yeah. I mean, these chairs could not have been cheap. Um, Again, these are all just, you know, you can tell by the, 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 the ladies in their fancy dresses, the men in their suits. This was first class, first class travel of the late 19th century. Pretty neat. You know, this is a Pullman car. Really? Another Pullman car. This is more lower class, more upper class. Even the, the, the woodwork. Yeah. Like the wood, the, the detail, detail, oak yep. doors, cedar panels. You know, again, it's not the most comfortable way to travel. However, you know, if you think about it, you pay for a particular ticket, it's going to cost you X amount of dollars. and you can continue to travel throughout the night and the days. Whereas, you know, getting off the train, staying in a hotel, you know, this, while you may be paying a lot, you know, there's also a, a, a point where you're reducing cost and, and certain aspects of it. It's like whenever I fly and they're like, does anybody want to like sit in the emergency row? I'm like, yeah, yeah. I'm six foot three, 235 pounds. Whoa, like I'm room. a big dude, yeah. give, me, give me as much leg room as I possibly can. Your dining cars, nice. this is first class dining. Uh, this 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 train was probably more the early 1900s so, yeah. than the later eight, uh, later 1800s. Again, which is probably the 50s. Yeah, yeah. Probably as we. I mean, they're still around. 
They are still around. I've, ne I've never traveled on a Pullman my, car. My, my parents took Amtrak down to Disney. They brought my nieces down to Disney. Um, it was about half the price of flying. Oh, really? You know, where round trip airfare to Disney would have been like 400 bucks. Oh, especially this was like $100 a person. Now it's a 20 hour journey. That's not a bad way to go, though. It's not. I really, wow. There was like an arcade car, okay, a we'll dining car. We'll talk after this. Yeah. Um, and then, of course, you can see here, you know, the advertisements that are going along with it. Um, I think one of the things, and it was, oh, we're still on Pullman cars, I'll go back to the air brakes in here. But, you know, again, when we're looking at advertising, you know, when we look at uh, the early advertisements that we've looked at in the beginning of this unit, you know, the whole idea when we're talking about the Transcontinental Railroad is getting people out there faster, cheaper, efficient, um, much safer. Now, you know, there's another thing you're adding to this. You know, now there's the sleeping cars uh, that we're getting into. It looked like you were going to say something. No, I was kind of just piggybacking. We go back yeah. to this. Yeah. You know, now before any of this, yeah, we got none of none of Pullman would have been successful if we couldn't fix this problem. Now, one of the major problems with early rail travel were derailments. Yeah. You know, <clears throat> kids are like, well, well, how does that happen? And it's actually a lot easier to explain when the kids are in class. Yeah, I, so, I, I get yeah, them in line. You yeah, get them in exactly. Line. So it's like, it's easy, you know, if you picture yourself running a race, yeah. and you're running all by yourself, and you stop, you'd be okay. You'd be perfectly fine. Right. But if you're now running, and there's a lot of people around you, particularly behind you, yeah. and you're running, and you come to a stop, all those people behind you now run right into you. And that was a major problem in, in the rail industry, because brakes on trains, they had to have brakemen. And every train had its own brake. Every it's, car. You had to try and organize yeah. it simultaneously. Every tr train had its own car, so the brake bin would signal. It's like, all right, now I gotta pull the brake. Now, if I pull my brake on my car a little bit too much, and my car slows down, and the cars behind me are still, the momentum is still carrying them forward, this is the, the end result. It seems so simple. It seems like an easy fix, but it was not. You know, you had to have a couple of these happen before you went, you know, maybe we ought to. And the the, the, the invention that, that saves this was Westinghouse. Yes. George Westinghouse, uh, what was the year, 69, 1869, 69. you know, develops a braking system. And I, I, I'm not an engineer. You you don't look at me. How, <laughs> how he did this. But now one brakeman in the front of the train could control all the brakes of every single car uniformly. And you still you still have air brakes used for huge uh, buses use them. Buses use them. The track, track trails use them. Use them. You'll know you'll know if they have an air brake yeah. because when they when they stop there's the release of the air. Yep. Right. Air brakes. Now another one which is pretty interesting since we're talking about you know shipping now it's safer people are traveling now there's the refrigerated railroad car. Now before you think that's an option that you can go and sit in the railroad car because it's cooler. Think about what you're going to need to ship. That's cold. We're talking about meat, pork, your steers, if you want to go that way. You're supposed to keep them cold. And if you look here, of course, we have pigs. So this little piggy went to market, literally. You know, this little piggy stayed home. Well, he wanted to. And, you know, here we have it. You have the ice tanks at the end, probably using dry ice or, or huge blocks to kind of keep it cold. There's just one as well. You know, connected to that. Did you add this or I added this? This is pretty neat. I think I added it. Yeah, I don't know. You know, now you see them, of course, when we're talking about bank robberies, you know, you also had trains that were carrying, uh, you know, not only just people, not only just, you know, precious cargo or meat, you know, they were also transporting m money for certain banks. Um, in Toy Story 3, they opened up where they were trying to uh, rob the bank. Right? Yeah. Or rob the train that had the bank money on it. Pretty cool. We'll get to comics later on. This was a dime novel. Yeah. All right, well, thank you for watching.